Kara Ward of Sports here with reigning and defending WBO featherweight champion Oscar Valdez. Tell me, man, your first pay-per-view, man. You're, you're headlining, super young. What does it feel like, man? You're you're you're, you're getting the the attention that you know we in the in the boxing circles have felt that you've you've needed for a while. So how does it feel? It feels great, you know. It's, uh, I'm living the dream right now. You know, like I've, I've said this before, I've dreamed about these moments, and I was just a little kid, and you know, I'm enjoying the ride, um, taking it day by day, fight by fight, and letting everything letting everything go on its own. You're fighting uh, Miguel Moraga. Tough guy, man. Colombian guy, uh, 25 and one with uh, 21 knockouts. His only loss is actually to uh, to Nicholas Walters. He made it the distance too. Didn't get knocked out or anything. Tell me, um, how big of a challenge is this? I mean, obviously he doesn't have the name recognition as, as some of the some of the other guys in your division, but he seems very very dangerous. I take no fighter lightly, especially I won't take Miguel Marriaga lightly because he's a tough fighter. It doesn't it doesn't bother me. It doesn't. Uh, I don't I don't really care people say he's an easy fighter or he's a he's a walk in a park with him he's a tough fighter he's a tough fighter i've seen him fight before um seen him fight a lot of times before and he's a tough fighter he's the toughest fight to this day that i have you know i i'm i study all my opponents you know when i was gonna fight granovich when i was gonna fight um, uh chris avalos uh, my last fight my last opponent and i picture him them fighting uh miguel marriaga and i see miguel marriaga beating them so to this day, I know he's the toughest opponent I've, I'm, I'm on face, and I'm training him with as much respect as all the fighters deserve. Um, training every day hard in the gym, and, uh, and coming that night, I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to, to win that fight. What's what's the best and worst part of, of, of being a champion now? You know, like like what, what's changed? What's the best and worst part? Um, I don't know. The, the, the best is. It just gets yeah. better and better. And I, <laughs> um, I don't really see nothing negative to this. Um, I could say because people want me to see, keep on seeing me knock out every every opponent. That's the only bad thing. But but I don't I don't really pay I don't really pay attention to all that. I just I just do my thing. To be honest, I don't even go in the in the ring thinking I'm gonna knock out my opponent. I go in there trying to win round by round. You know, but thank God I've, I've knocked out my opponent. So you know, I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna keep that mentality. There's a lot of great champions in your division, man. Mares, Santa Cruz, Shelby, all these guys. Frampton obviously just just lost to Santa Cruz in the rematch. Um, we know you want those names. We've talked to you about that before. Uh, I was actually I was personally offended when uh, Lee Shelby didn't say your name after the after the. Did, did you know, did you notice that? <laughs> I, I just don't talk. You know, I just, I'm not the type of fighter that likes to start start controversy or or tweet or post something on social media or go up to his face and call him out. I'm not that type of fighter. I'll let my fist talk for themselves. But um, I, I do see all the fights. I, I'm a big boxing fan as well as a fighter. And I see all these fights and I do get offended when they, when they, when they put up, who do you want to see in a fight? And then they, they, they mention all of them, but I don't right. see no Oscar Valdez. <laughs> I was like, hey man, I'm right here too. Right. But I'm not gonna go out there and just say, hey, hey, fight me. Um, Lastly, man, I want to talk to you. Obviously, you're you're from Mexico, Mexico Olymp Mexican Olympian. A big fight coming up in uh, in May: Canelo versus uh, Chavez Jr. Tell us what you think about it, and, and kind of what do you think the significance uh, for Mexico? Do you think uh, that fight is? I think that fight, whoever wins, is going to be the face of Mexican boxing. It's a great, it's going to be a great fight. Like it also be an advantage, it also could be disadvantage for both fighters because of the weight the weight division. Um, we all know Chavez. Um, has that has the same punch in the later rounds as he does in the, in the first rounds, and Canelo goes down uh, rhythm the later rounds. So it could be it's a very interesting fight. We all know Canelo is a very disciplined fighter, and um, there could maybe there could be a lot of fighters or fans that how they they don't like him. There's a lot of fighters that do uh, a lot of fans that do like him, but the reality is he is a great fighter, and so is Junior. It just he just has a bad reputation of discipline. But I think I personally think it's gonna be a very good fight. And final question, man. I see, uh, I follow you on, on all the social media, obviously. I've seen uh, on your story. You got a new pet, man. Tell us uh, what's his name. T tell us what, or him, her. I don't know what it is. Um, it's, I've been, I've, I had him for a while already. It's just that I, don't re I haven't really posted him that much. Um, I got him last year. Anaconda, right? Yeah, uh, baby Anaconda, yeah. So, <laughs> like I said, I love animals, man. And little by little, I'm going to have my little zoo, my own personal zoo. <laughs> what are you going to do when he's... You know, when you get to bed, I don't know. Uh, well, that was the same question right. years ago when I had my alligator when it was in my hand. 
And to this day, I still have them. I still have them in my farm, in my rancho, in Hermosillo. And um, so maybe in a couple of years, I'll also have my, my anaconda <laughs> with my alligator too, being friends. <laughs> Tell the uh, fans where to, where to follow you on social media so they can see all that stuff. Um, you can follow me on uh, Oscar Valdez 56 on Instagram, Twitter, um, Snapchat, everything is Oscar Valdez 56. The only thing I don't have is Facebook. There's a couple of Facebooks out there that <laughs> say it's Oscar Valdez, but it's not me. So. <laughs> what, what's the 56 one? 56 is Olympics. I went to, I went to Olympics at 56 kilos. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So it's kilos back in Mexico. <laughs> Thank you so much, Oscar. Appreciate your time. Best of luck April 22nd, man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.